What's up nerds, my name is Corey Bergeron, you are watching Corey Bergeron Recordings, and we are back with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Amazon Basics Dynamic Vocal Microphone. So I was on Amazon, and I purchased light bulbs, and then after I purchased those light bulbs, um, some algorithm connected, and it offered me a vocal microphone, a dynamic microphone, for $20. Consumerism won on this one, I ended up purchasing the microphone, and it is right here. It is still in box, I have yet to open it. Um, so I will open this up and in this video I will test this versus a Shure SM57 which is like the industry standard of affordable dynamic microphones as well as I will record a little song with it so you can hear what it sounds like. I'll also you know record my voice uh, in case you're interested in buying this for podcasting. It is a cheap microphone. I don't really have much in terms of expectations going into it. I uh, assume it works and I haven't read any reviews or anything, so this is just going to be my uh, my review of it. Um, but before we get into it, if you plan on releasing music anytime soon, I recommend using the service DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that allows you to get your music on all the major online streaming services. That includes Spotify, Apple Music, and all the other places that you could ever imagine. For just a low annual fee, you get to upload as much music as you want, and you get to keep 100% of your royalties. So if you are signing up, consider using my link, www.distrokid.com slash VIP slash What's Up Nerds, and you will save 7% when you sign up. It uh, saves you money sports channel it's a good thing okay I'm going to change this camera angle and I'm gonna unbox this and then we will do a demo and I will give you a review all right so here is a shot of my desk and here's the box on the box you can see that it says dynamic vocal microphone in a bunch of languages I don't know if that's in focus but there's the box okay I am uh, now officially a youtuber because uh, there's this knife and I'm gonna use it to open this um, which I otherwise definitely would have been able to do with just my fingers but official youtuber Okay, so open in the box here. Boom, it shows us this little picture. <laughs> you got a person singing into the microphone, and the microphone goes into some sort of stereo system like this. And uh, so that's how that works. <laughs> okay, you get a little pamphlet. Um, I'm not going to read that. Probably tells you how a microphone works. All right, here is the microphone. Okay, uh, it says Amazon Basics on this. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. It says Amazon Basics on it, which uh, is hilarious. And on, it feels like a normal microphone. It feels like an SM57 or 58. I don't know what this material is, but uh, it feels, doesn't feel cheap. Um, can you take it apart? You can take it apart. Okay, so this... If you have a SM58, this is like a windscreen. Um, okay, so this is uh, <laughs> this is the microphone. Again, looks very similar to what a 57 would look like, or 58 if you took this off. Okay, so along with this microphone here, it does come with oh, a mic clip. Um, let's open up this little mic clip here. Okay, so just a cheap little mic clip. I find with these clips here, I think this is actually rubber. Uh, these don't break as often as compared to the hard plastic ones, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know how well this joint will keep up over time, but uh, works as advertised so far. And then the last thing we got here is the cable. So this is an XLR to uh, quarter inch cable here, uh, which is not the not what I would use if I was recording in the studio, but this, uh, I guess if this is designed for karaoke, that will definitely do the job. So I will probably not use this cable, but uh, that's the microphone with the clip and the cable. Let's uh, test this thing out compared to a 57. All right, I've switched camera angles again. So uh, I have the microphone here in front of me. I'm using the clip that comes with it, as well as I'm actually using the cable. So I have the cable plugged into a Focusrite 2i2, and uh, yeah, I am going to talk into this microphone. You are going to hear it. And then I'm gonna swap it with a Shure SM57. And uh, I'll talk into that so you can hear the comparison between this cheap $20 microphone and this uh, the industry standard dynamic microphone. Um, so here we go. I have Pro Tools in front of me. I am going to record the audio here. I'm gonna hit record. And I am talking into the Amazon Basics microphone. This is a vocal microphone. It is a dynamic microphone, and I am testing it out. This is what it would sound like if you were to use this for a podcast. Amazon Basics microphone. Basics. Amazon Basics microphone. Okay. Cool. So we have that recorded, and I'm going to quickly just swap this. Same cable, same clip. Real quick, the, uh, the Amazon microphone is definitely a little lighter than the Shure SM57. 
All right, so I should be talking to this. This should be working and uh... All right, so I am now talking into a Shure SM57 microphone. This is the uh, I'm gonna call it the industry standard of of affordable dynamic microphones. I'm comparing this to the audio of the Amazon Basics microphone. I'm talking into it. This is what a Shure SM57 would sound like if you were doing a podcast. Okay, Shure SM57 versus the Amazon Basics microphone. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to just move this all out of the way. I haven't actually listened to it because I was talking into it and I don't have headphones on. And if I were to listen to it while I was talking into it, there would be a lot of feedback. So I'm actually going to just give them a quick listen, compare the two, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. And I am talking into the Amazon Basics microphone. This is a vocal microphone. It is a dynamic microphone, and I am testing it out. This is what it would sound like if you were to use this for a podcast. Amazon Basics microphone. Basics. Amazon Basics microphone. Okay. All right. I apologize to everyone out there. I'm obviously not using a pop filter because I just want to show what this microphone does. Tons of plazas in there. Oops. Sorry. But um, all right. So that was that microphone. Um, at first glance or at first listen, I would, wouldn't think twice. Sounds like a functioning microphone to me. Let's hear it without, uh, without uh, too much of a difference. What does the 57 sound like? All right. So I am now talking into a Shure SM57 microphone. This is the, uh, I'm going to call it the industry standard of a Okay, really quickly, um, I did not change the gain at all between the two microphones here. So the Amazon uh, Basics microphone outputs a little louder, I believe. I think where my mouth was positioned um, in relation to the microphones was close enough that it wouldn't be making this much of a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust the gain here a little bit uh, to, to match because that's going to play a big role. So here we go. I'm going to just listen again to the Amazon microphone and then I will listen to the 57. Microphone basics. Amazon basics microphone. Okay. All right. So I am now talking into a Shure SM57 microphone. This is the, uh, I'm going to call it the industry standard of, of affordable dynamic microphones. I'm comparing this to the audio of the Amazon basics microphone. Interesting. Okay. So for me, the SM57 sounds a little brighter and a little bit more open. Maybe it's, maybe it just doesn't have as much 400 Hertz or 300 Hertz, that low mid area. And without it, it just sounds a little bit more pleasant without touching anything, without adding any EQ compression or anything like that. I feel like the SM57, um, for me is more pleasant, but with that all being said, the Amazon microphone sounds good. Like it's, it's totally usable uh, for this application. I would have no issue using this for a podcast. Um, obviously, you just saw me open it up, so I don't know durability-wise if you could throw this around. 57s are pretty good unless your drummer, you know, hits it with a, a drumstick and takes the top off it, which I've seen happen. Um, but so far, pretty impressed. For $20, you definitely cannot complain. I'm going to go ahead now, and I am going to uh, record... I think I'm going to record some acoustic guitar and some voice with this, just so you can hear you know, what it sounds like. And on those instruments, I'm going to be adding, you know, effects, EQ, compression, reverb, and whatnot. So you're going to hear what actually recording a song and using it in a recording application sounds like. Um, but so far, this gets two thumbs up. Okay. I've seen Jesus play with flames in a lake of fire that I was standing in. Met the devil in Seattle Spent nine months in silent lion's den I met Booty at another time He showed me the glowing light within But I swear to God I'm saying Every time I glare to the eyes of my best friend All right, it is like five days later and way too late to be filming a YouTube video, but uh, I'm trying to finish this video as we speak. So yeah, 
I just recorded the acoustic demo maybe like 20 minutes ago and when I threw it into Pro Tools I realized that the high mids were pretty harsh on both the acoustic guitar and the voice so I don't know if that is a characteristic of this microphone or just how everything was positioned in relation to the source material uh, but overall I would say for $20 you cannot complain if you are not an audio engineer trying to record bands or anything like that this is a no-brainer this thing works it'd be great for podcasts especially if you're, you're just beginning. Obviously everyone uses Shure SM7Bs, but uh, I think this would do the job. Another thing I noticed is that the mic clip that came with this, it's on a mic stand behind the camera right now, it, uh, it's, the joint is not great. I was recording a podcast with a different microphone using it the other day and the microphone just kept slowly sliding away. So I don't know how much weight it can really hold. I tightened it and that seemed to help, but I don't know how long that will hold up and if it'll kind of get loose and then eventually not be able to support a microphone. So that might be something you want to replace, but you can buy clips for a buck or two on Amazon. Um, anyways, if you are, you know, starting a podcast or you just need a microphone, if you're streaming or if you're a musician that, you know, can't afford high quality gear and you just want to start out using a microphone, I really don't think you can go wrong with this thing. Maybe one day if uh, I get uh, lucky and the YouTube algorithm rewards me and puts my videos in front of millions of people and I have all this really cool YouTube money, I'll buy like eight of these things and record a drum kit and uh, see how good we can make it sound. But uh, until that day, I will keep uh, making videos about things that I think are interesting. So that is the Amazon Basics microphone. I'll leave a link for that down below. At the start of the video, I plug DistroKit if you're uploading music be sure to use my link and uh, release your music through DistroKid. I'm about to fall asleep. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Corey Bergeron. You're watching Corey Bergeron Recordings, and I will see you in the next video.